1967, the release of the independent romantic comedy drama film The Graduate took audiences by storm. This classic was directed by Mike Nichols and based on the 1963 novel of the same name by Charles Webb. The screenplay was penned by Buck Henry and Calder Willingham, offering a captivating story that resonated with viewers. Set in a world of its own, the movie explored relatable themes and showcased compelling performances, leaving a mark in film history. As we delve into the narrative, we uncover the timeless appeal and enduring impact of this beloved show. The Graduate, a groundbreaking film released in December 1967, follows the story of Benjamin Braddock, played by Dustin Hoffman. The movie opens with Benjamin's graduation from college, where he finds himself feeling lost and unsure of his future. Benjamin's life takes a turn when he is seduced by Mistress Robinson, the wife of his father's law partner. Despite his initial reluctance, Benjamin eventually gives in to her advances, leading to a complicated and tumultuous relationship. As the story unfolds, Benjamin finds himself falling for Mistress Robinson's daughter, Elaine, played by Catherine Ross. This sets the stage for a series of events that are both dramatic and unexpected, as Benjamin must navigate the complexities of his feelings for both women. The Graduate was released to critical and commercial success, grossing $104 million in the U.S. and Canada. Its unique blend of comedy, drama, and satire struck a chord with audiences, and its exploration of themes such as disillusionment, rebellion, and the search for meaning resonated with many. The film's iconic soundtrack, featuring songs by Simon and Garfunkel, became a hit in its own right and added to the movie's overall appeal. The Graduate's impact was felt not only in the world of cinema, but also in popular culture, where it helped to define a generation and solidify Dustin Hoffman's status as a rising star. To this day, The Graduate remains a classic of American cinema, and its influence can still be seen in many of the films and television shows that have followed in its footsteps. Whether you're a fan of the movie or simply interested in exploring its cultural significance, there's no denying the enduring appeal of this timeless tale. The Graduate received seven Academy Award nominations, a significant achievement for a film that faced numerous challenges during its production. Director Mike Nichols, although a successful figure in Broadway, was relatively unknown in Hollywood. This lack of recognition made it difficult for him to get the project off the ground. However, the backing of producer Joseph Levine proved crucial. Levine agreed to finance the film due to his previous association with Nichols and the support of Elizabeth Taylor, who was a fan of the director's work. Nichols's inexperience in filmmaking was a challenge he had to overcome. He spent countless hours studying other directors' work to improve his skills. Despite the challenges, Nichols's unique vision for the film shone through, earning him a Best Director nomination and a win at the Academy Awards. The Graduate was also a financial success, earning over $100 million at the box office on a budget of $3 million. The film's exploration of post-college aimlessness and disillusionment resonated with audiences, making it a cultural touchstone of the time. Its impact transcended the silver screen, with the film's soundtrack and iconic lines becoming ingrained in popular culture. In summary, The Graduate faced numerous challenges during its production, from financing to the director's lack of filmmaking experience. However, with the support of key figures in Hollywood and Nichols's determination to succeed, the film became a critical and commercial success. Its exploration of post-college life and disillusionment struck a chord with audiences, making it a classic that continues to resonate today. The screenwriter for The Graduate was Buck Henry. Before him, Mike Nichols had suggested several other writers, but eventually settled on Henry. Henry's screenplay for the movie was based on the novel of the same name by Charles Webb. As for the role of Mistress Robinson, Nichols had initially wanted to cast a French actress named Janine Morrow. However, Morrow was unable to obtain a work visa in time for the film's production, so the role went to Anne Bancroft instead. Bancroft's portrayal of the seductive and manipulative Mistress Robinson became one of the most iconic performances in film history. Nichols had also considered several other actresses for the role of Mistress Robinson, including Doris Day, Shelley Winters, Eva Marie Saint, Iva Gardner, Patricia Neal, Susan Hayward, and Maureen Stapleton. While each of these actresses brought their own unique talents and style to their respective roles, it was Bancroft who ultimately brought Mistress Robinson to life on the big screen. Despite the challenges and setbacks that occurred during the production of The Graduate, the film went on to become a critical and commercial success. Its exploration of themes such as disillusionment, infidelity, 
and the loss of innocence resonated with audiences of the time and continue to do so today. The movie remains a classic of American cinema, and its impact can still be felt in contemporary films and television shows. Dustin Hoffman, still a relatively unknown actor at the time, had already been cast in the comedy The Producers when he learned about the upcoming film The Graduate. Determined to audition for the lead role, Hoffman begged the director, Mike Nichols, for a chance to read for the part. Despite Nichols' initial reluctance, Hoffman eventually got his audition. Just before his 30th birthday, Hoffman auditioned for the role of the young and inexperienced college graduate, Benjamin Braddock. During his audition, he performed a love scene with co-star Catherine Ross, who was playing the role of Elaine Robinson. Both Hoffman and Ross felt mismatched for their roles, as Hoffman was significantly older than the character he was playing, and Ross was a seasoned actress with several film credits to her name. However, despite their initial reservations, the chemistry between Hoffman and Ross was undeniable. Their on-screen relationship became the heart of the film, and helped to make The Graduate the classic that it is today. The film went on to become a cultural phenomenon, earning Hoffman his first Academy Award nomination, and solidifying his status as a leading man in Hollywood. In the end, Hoffman's determination to audition for The Graduate paid off, as he was able to bring the character of Benjamin Braddock to life in a way that no one else could have. And although he and Ross may have felt mismatched for their roles, their performances in this classic film will be remembered for generations to come. In the movie The Graduate, Anne Bancroft delivered a memorable performance as Mistress Robinson, a woman who was filled with regret for choosing wealth over her true self. Catherine Ross, who was just 27 and turning 28 during the film's release, played the role of Elaine, Mistress Robinson's daughter. Bancroft was actually only eight years older than Ross, which added to the complexity of their on-screen relationship. During the filming of the iconic church scene, where Benjamin disrupts Elaine's wedding, Hoffman caused some problems. In one of the rehearsals, he began pounding on the glass wall of the church, which led to some production adjustments. The tension between Mistress Robinson and Elaine, as well as Benjamin's pursuit of Elaine, adds to the intrigue of this classic film. The church scene in particular has become one of the most memorable moments in cinema history. Despite the challenges faced during filming, the final product remains a captivating and enduring film that continues to resonate with audiences today. The Graduate, a classic film released in 1967, features two main characters, Benjamin and Mistress Robinson. Benjamin, a recent college graduate, is often seen in the company of Mistress Robinson, a friend of his parents. Interestingly, Benjamin never calls Mistress Robinson by her first name throughout the movie, highlighting the generation gap between them. Mistress Robinson, played by Anne Bancroft, is a complex character who befriends Benjamin, portrayed by Dustin Hoffman. Their relationship evolves over time, leading to some tense and awkward moments. The use of first names in their interactions underscores the age difference and the unconventional nature of their relationship. The soundtrack of The Graduate is equally noteworthy. Paul Simon, one half of the folk rock duo Simon and Garfunkel, was contracted to write three new songs for the movie. However, he only produced one song, Mistress Robinson. This iconic tune, originally intended to be about Eleanor Roosevelt, became synonymous with Mistress Robinson's character in the film. Mistress Robinson is a memorable and enduring song that has transcended the movie's boundaries. Its catchy melody and poignant lyrics have made it a classic in its own right. The song's inclusion in The Graduate has undoubtedly left a lasting impact on audiences and contributed to the film's enduring popularity. In conclusion, The Graduate is a classic film that explores the complexities of relationships and the generation gap. With its memorable soundtrack and unforgettable characters, this movie has left a lasting mark on audiences and continues to resonate today. The iconic image of The Graduate is a leg shot of Mistress Robinson, but many are surprised to learn that it's not actress Anne Bancroft's leg, but rather that of Linda Gray. Dustin Hoffman, who played the lead role of Benjamin Braddock, initially felt that he was not right for the part. Despite his doubts, he pursued the role, and his awkwardness ultimately worked in his favor, as director Mike Nichols found it to be perfect for the character. Hoffman's interactions with co-star Catherine Ross, who played Elaine Robinson, were not always smooth sailing. During one scene, Hoffman playfully patted and pinched Ross's behind, which angered her. However, Nichols saw it as a perfect fit for the character and kept it in the film. Despite any tension on set, The Graduate became a classic and remains a beloved film to this day. 
Its impact on popular culture is undeniable, and the film's themes of disillusionment and rebellion continue to resonate with audiences. The awkwardness and tension between the characters brought to life by Hoffman and Ross added to the film's authenticity and made it a true masterpiece. The Graduate is a 1967 movie that has left a lasting impression on audiences. This classic film tells the story of Benjamin Braddock, a recent college graduate who finds himself aimless and uncertain about his future. The plot unfolds in the picturesque setting of California, where Benjamin becomes entangled in a complicated relationship with Mistress Robinson, the wife of his father's business partner, and eventually falls for her daughter, Elaine. Directed by Mike Nichols, The Graduate was a groundbreaking film that achieved several key milestones. It was nominated for seven Academy Awards and won for Best Director and Best Picture. The movie also introduced the world to Dustin Hoffman, who played the role of Benjamin Braddock and became a household name overnight. Benjamin Braddock, played by Hoffman, is a young man who has just completed his college education. He is intelligent and well-liked but lacks direction and purpose in his life. He is unsure of what he wants to do with his future, and this uncertainty leads him to question the values and expectations of the adult world around him. Mistress Robinson, portrayed by Anne Bancroft, is a seductive and manipulative woman who becomes Benjamin's confidant and lover. She is a complex character who is both alluring and intimidating, and her relationship with Benjamin is a major source of tension and conflict in the film. Elaine Robinson, played by Catherine Ross, is Mistress Robinson's daughter and Benjamin's love interest. She is a sweet and innocent young woman who is unaware of her mother's relationship with Benjamin. As the film progresses, Benjamin and Elaine become closer, leading to a dramatic and unforgettable conclusion. The Graduate is a classic film that continues to resonate with audiences today. Its timeless themes of love, loss, and self-discovery have made it a beloved and enduring part of cinema history. The Graduate's casting process was a fascinating journey. Producers Lawrence Terman and Joseph E. Levine sought a fresh face for the lead, Benjamin Braddock. Mike Nichols, the director, wanted an unknown actor to bring a sense of authenticity to the character, enter Dustin Hoffman. Though he had appeared in several TV shows and films, Hoffman was not a household name. After seeing his off-Broadway performance in A, Nichols was convinced Hoffman was the right choice. Despite some initial reservations from the studio, Hoffman was cast as Benjamin Braddock. For the role of Mistress Robinson, the enigmatic older woman who seduces Benjamin, the producers initially considered big names like Shirley MacLaine and Patricia Neal. However, Anne Bancroft, who had just won an Oscar for The Miracle Worker, emerged as the top choice. Bancroft brought depth and complexity to the character, making her more than just a seductress. The chemistry between Hoffman and Bancroft was crucial. To test their on-screen dynamic, Hoffman and Bancroft had a private meeting before filming. Hoffman later recalled, We laughed a lot I found her to be a very funny woman. This mutual respect and humor translated onto the screen, creating the memorable and tense relationship between Benjamin and Mistress Robinson. Catherine Ross, relatively unknown at the time, was cast as Elaine Robinson, Benjamin's love interest. Ross had previously worked with Nichols in Dance of Death, and he was impressed by her talent. Her chemistry with Hoffman was instant, further enhancing the film's love triangle. The Graduate's casting was a testament to the power of intuition and chemistry. By choosing relatively unknown actors and trusting their instincts, the producers and director created a film that has endured for generations. The Graduate, directed by Mike Nichols, is a classic film that continues to resonate today. Nichols brought a unique directorial vision to the project, blending humor and drama in a way that felt fresh and innovative. Nichols was known for his collaborative approach to filmmaking. He worked closely with the cast and crew to create a cohesive vision for the film. He encouraged improvisation and exploration, allowing the actors to bring their own ideas to the table. One of Nichols' key creative influences was the work of European filmmakers like Ingmar Bergman and Federico Fellini. He admired their ability to blend realism and surrealism, and he sought to bring that sensibility to the graduate. Nichols also drew inspiration from the world of theater. He had a background in improvisational comedy and was known for his ability to elicit naturalistic performances from his actors. He used these skills to create a sense of intimacy and immediacy in The Graduate. Visually, Nichols employed a number of innovative techniques to bring the story to life. He used wide-angle lenses and unconventional camera angles to create a sense of disorientation and unease. He also employed a muted color palette, 
using brown and beige tones to evoke the suffocating atmosphere of suburban America. Nichols' collaboration with cinematographer Robert Surtees was particularly fruitful. Together, they crafted a visual style that was both striking and subtle, using light and shadow to create a sense of tension and unease. The Graduate was also notable for its use of music. Nichols worked closely with composer Dave Grusin and music supervisor Henry Jacobs to create a soundtrack that was both contemporary and timeless. The use of Simon and Garfunkel's music helped to establish a sense of generational identity and angst. In the end, Nichols' directorial vision for The Graduate was one of nuance and complexity. He brought together a talented cast and crew and created a film that continues to resonate with audiences today. The Graduate, a 1967 classic, took audiences by storm with its unique storyline and innovative filming techniques. The production team faced various challenges and devised creative solutions to bring this film to life. Set design played a crucial role in establishing the film's aesthetic. The team, led by production designer Richard Silbert, created an iconic look for each setting. The Benjamin Braddock family home, for instance, embodied the suburban upper-middle-class lifestyle of the time, complete with sleek modern furniture and an expansive pool area. Locations were carefully selected to enhance the narrative. The Braddock residence, situated in Beverly Hills, provided a stark contrast to the University of California, Los Angeles, where Benjamin felt stifled and out of place. Scenes set in Berkeley, California, further emphasized the generational divide and the characters' struggles with identity and purpose. Logistical challenges abounded during filming. To capture the now iconic shot of Benjamin on the bus, the crew had to remove several rows of seats to accommodate the camera equipment. Additionally, they had to shoot the scene multiple times, as the bus would invariably jostle during filming, disrupting the carefully planned shots. In terms of innovative techniques, the graduate made use of the then-new Aeroflex Bell camera. This lightweight, handheld device allowed for greater flexibility in capturing intimate, candid moments. The film's director, Mike Nichols, also employed the use of extended takes and close-ups further immersing viewers in the characters' emotions and experiences. The Graduate's production was a testament to the power of creative problem-solving and the willingness to embrace new technologies. The result was a film that continues to resonate with audiences today. The creation of the film's score and soundtrack for The Graduate was a collaborative effort between director Mike Nichols and composer Dave Grusin. However, it was the inclusion of Simon and Garfunkel's folk rock music that truly defined the movie's sound. Simon and Garfunkel, already a successful duo, were approached by Nichols to provide songs for the film. They agreed, but on one condition, they would only contribute if their music fit naturally into the story. This organic approach resulted in several of their tracks becoming integral to the narrative, such as The Sound of Silence, Mistress Robinson, and Scarborough Fair. The score, composed by Grusin, complemented the film's emotional tone. It was designed to reflect the protagonists, Benjamin Braddock's inner turmoil and confusion. Grusin used unconventional methods, like playing piano with the sustaining pedal depressed to create a dreamlike state, mirroring Braddock's detachment from reality. Simon and Garfunkel's music, on the other hand, often contrasted with the on-screen action, highlighting the generational gap and societal discord of the time. Their lyrics resonated with the themes of disillusionment and longing, further enhancing the film's narrative. Paul Simon once stated, Our music wasn't just background, it was part of the story. This sentiment is evident in the way their songs intertwine with the plot, underscoring pivotal moments and revealing character motivations. In conclusion, the fusion of Grusin's score and Simon and Garfunkel's soundtrack in The Graduate created a musical tapestry that not only complemented the narrative, but also added depth to the emotional tone, making it a timeless classic. One of the most iconic scenes in The Graduate is the seduction scene between Mistress Robinson, played by Anne Bancroft, and Benjamin, portrayed by Dustin Hoffman. The scene is set in Mistress Robinson's home, and the use of low-key lighting creates a sense of intimacy and secrecy. The camera work is also noteworthy, with close-ups of the characters' faces and hands, highlighting their emotions and reactions. Director Mike Nichols used a variety of techniques to build tension in the scene. In an interview, he said, I wanted to create a sense of danger and unease to make the audience feel as if they were watching something they shouldn't be. The use of music, specifically Simon and Garfunkel's Mistress Robinson, further adds to the scene's impact. Bancroft's performance is exceptional, portraying a woman who is both confident and vulnerable. 
She later said in an interview, I wanted to make Mistress Robinson human, to show that she was more than just a seductress. Hoffman's performance is equally impressive, capturing Benjamin's confusion and curiosity. The scene has had a significant impact on audiences, becoming a symbol of the generational divide and the loss of innocence. It has also been parodied and referenced in numerous films and TV shows. The scene's power lies in its ability to evoke strong emotions and spark conversation, making it one of the most memorable in cinema history. Another iconic scene in The Graduate is the final sequence, where Benjamin interrupts Elaine's wedding. The scene is shot in a frantic, handheld style, creating a sense of chaos and urgency. The use of black and white film further adds to the scene's intensity. Nichols again uses music to heighten the drama, with the sound of the sound of silence playing as Benjamin races to the church. The scene is a powerful commentary on societal expectations and the desire for freedom. Hoffman's performance is particularly noteworthy, with his desperate attempts to reach Elaine reflecting the character's desperation and determination. Catherine Ross, who plays Elaine, also delivers a strong performance, portraying a woman torn between duty and desire. The scene has become iconic due to its daring and unconventional ending, which defied audience expectations. It has been praised for its commentary on societal norms and the desire for individuality. Overall, The Graduate contains several iconic scenes that have had a lasting impact on audiences. Through expert direction, powerful performances, and innovative cinematography, these scenes continue to resonate with viewers today. Released in 1967, The Graduate quickly resonated with audiences, becoming a cultural milestone. The film tackled relevant social themes, contributing to discussions on the generational divide and the loss of innocence. Its protagonist, Benjamin Braddock, portrayed by Dustin Hoffman, was a relatable character for many young adults navigating their way through post-college life. The movie's impact on pop culture was significant. The soundtrack, featuring Simon and Garfunkel's folk rock tunes, became a bestseller and continues to be popular today. Lines like Mistress Robinson, You're Trying to Seduce Me, entered the lexicon, reflecting the film's influence on everyday language. The Graduate also critiqued the materialistic values of American society during the 1960s. The character of Mistress Robinson represented the allure and emptiness of the older generation's wealth and status. This critique struck a chord with audiences, reflecting the broader cultural shifts and disillusionment of the time. Moreover, the film's depiction of sexual liberation and the generational gap was groundbreaking. It challenged societal norms and expectations, contributing to the broader cultural conversation around these issues. In conclusion, The Graduate left an indelible mark on American culture and society. Its exploration of relevant social themes, impact on pop culture, and contribution to discussions on generational divides and sexual liberation make it a significant cultural artifact of the 1960s. Upon its release in 1967, The Graduate received high critical acclaim with reviewers praising its innovative storytelling and bold commentary on American society. The film's groundbreaking depiction of disillusioned youth struck a chord with audiences, making it a major commercial success. Noted film critic Bosley Crowther of the New York Times lauded the film as a brilliantly managed, first-rate comedy and a sharp and witty x-ray of current Morris. He commended the extraordinary performances of the cast, particularly Dustin Hoffman, who comes through with flying colors. Audience reactions were overwhelmingly positive, with many praising the film's relatability and humor. The Graduate became a cultural touchstone, sparking conversations about the generational divide and societal expectations. The film received numerous accolades, including seven Academy Award nominations. It won for Best Director, Best Adapted Screenplay, and Best Supporting Actress. These awards recognize the exceptional talent and creativity involved in the film's production. The film's success also elevated the careers of those involved. Dustin Hoffman became a household name, and Mike Nichols solidified his status as a visionary director. The film's impact transcended the silver screen, influencing popular culture and inspiring future filmmakers. In addition to its commercial and critical success, The Graduate has endured as a beloved classic. Its themes of disillusionment and rebellion continue to resonate with audiences today, making it a timeless piece of American cinema. During the filming of The Graduate in 1967, Dustin Hoffman, who played the lead role of Benjamin Braddock, was relatively unknown. In fact, during a break in filming, he found himself sitting next to a woman on a plane who had watched the movie's trailer multiple times, 
but still didn't recognize Hoffman as the star. The iconic shot of Benjamin scratching his scuba diving mask face was born out of necessity. On the first day of filming, Hoffman showed up with a sunburned face from a recent vacation, making it too painful for him to keep the mask on for long periods. Anne Bancroft, who played the captivating Mistress Robinson, had a significant influence on her character's development. She suggested adding the scene where Mistress Robinson teaches Benjamin how to play strip poker, which became one of the film's most memorable moments. The graduate's director, Mike Nichols, insisted on filming in real locations rather than on a soundstage, adding to the film's authenticity. The scenes set in the Braddock family's home were shot in a real house in Beverly Hills, causing logistical challenges when trying to accommodate the cast, crew, and equipment. The film's now iconic soundtrack, featuring Simon and Garfunkel's music, was initially not intended to be part of the movie. Producer Joe Levine wanted a more traditional score, but Nichols disagreed, believing that the folk duo's music would resonate with the film's young audience. In the now legendary final scene, Benjamin frantically runs through a church, interrupting a wedding ceremony. This scene was filmed without permits, and the production team had to bribe the church's janitor to let them in. The chaos you see on screen mirrors the actual disorder behind the scenes, as the cast and crew narrowly avoided being caught by church officials. The Graduate, a 1967 movie, holds a significant place in film history. Its director, Mike Nichols, masterfully crafted a coming-of-age story that resonated with audiences worldwide. The film's protagonist, Benjamin Braddock, played by Dustin Hoffman, was an everyman character struggling to find his identity in a rapidly changing world. This groundbreaking film introduced several innovations to the film industry. For instance, it popularized the use of pop music in films, with Simon and Garfunkel's soundtrack becoming a massive hit. The movie soundtrack, filled with songs like The Sound of Silence and Mistress Robinson, perfectly captured the zeitgeist of the 1960s and added depth to the story. Moreover, The Graduate's influence transcended filmmaking, leaving a mark on popular culture. Its themes of disillusionment, angst, and rebellion against societal expectations struck a chord with the youth of the time. The film's impact was so profound that it inspired a new genre of movies centered around the lives of disenchanted young adults navigating their way through life. One of the most notable films influenced by The Graduate is Cameron Crowe's 1989 classic Say Anything. Like The Graduate, Say Anything features a young protagonist grappling with the challenges of growing up and finding his place in the world. The film's iconic scene of Lloyd Dobler holding a boombox outside Diane Court's window is a direct homage to The Graduate's final scene. In conclusion, The Graduate's legacy and influence on filmmaking and popular culture are undeniable. Its innovative use of music, relatable characters, and thought-provoking themes continue to inspire filmmakers and captivate audiences to this day. Did you know that The Graduate became a cultural phenomenon when it hit theaters in 1967? This groundbreaking film, starring Dustin Hoffman, tells the story of a recent college graduate who finds himself in an aimless, disconnected period of his life. The movie's themes of disillusionment, angst, and the search for identity deeply resonated with the youth of that era, making it a powerful catalyst for change in American society. Its honest portrayal of the generational divide and the raw emotions experienced by young adults left a lasting impact on cinema. We'd love to hear about your personal experiences and memories related to The Graduate. Did the film influence your perspective on life or cinema? How did it make you feel when you first watched it? Share your stories with us and inspire others with your insights. Let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Together, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of The Graduate and its impact on our lives.